Good morning. I'm here today to talk about a topic that's near and dear to my heart that has been very present and prevalent and seeing it being played out on a daily basis. That is the increase of insecurities in people. Now, to a certain extent, we all have insecurities. The difference is the individual who strength who identifies they have an insecurity who can then work around strengthening their insecurity and become resourceful in getting tips, tools, and strategies that will help them become confident and build their self-esteem from the inside out. That's a given. But I'm talking to the majority, those individuals who are insecure as, number one, they need to be the loudest person in the room. Number two, they need to use um, inappropriate ways of communicating to get people's attention. Number three, they might express their inner thoughts and inner pains on the outside of themselves to get attention, right? Because the way how they, if they get people's eyes on them, they can pull them in using that. And number four, they may also use a strategy where, let's say, for example, you're really good at a specific task, right? And you're working with someone who is not that good. Their expectations of you, based on their own ability, they will use their strength to make you weak and then want you to mirror back the idea of you being insecure when in actuality, they're more insecure about you on top of the fact that you are an individual who is uniquely designed to do specific things exceptionally well without putting others down. You see, there are these little nuances that you need to be aware of when it comes to either working with people, being in a relationship, having peer groups or people like friends who may do this because the insecure person is like a crab in the bucket. If they ever get a scent or an idea that you can do a number of things exceptionally well, or you have certain things in your, you know, in your arsenal that they don't have, they'll want to pull you down. We need to start to identify this even more for our mental health, our emotional health, and our physical health, because no matter what happens in this world, we only have one mind and one heart. So we have to protect those things as best we can in order for us not to be infected by others who may have a problem or a challenge that they don't want to identify or address.